Hi friends, today I am going to solve problem on stepped bar which is subjected to axial load. Okay, let's get start. An axial pull of 35,000 Newton is acting on a bar consisting of three lengths as shown in figure. If angst modulus 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton mm square. Angst modulus they given. So we need to determine number 1 is stresses in each section. So here you can see there is 3 sections they given. So we need to find out stresses in each section and total extension of the bar. Fine. So we need to find the total extension of the bar and the stresses of in each section. Clear. So now you can see here. So what all things they given? They given the load 35,000 Newton and they given the diameter of each section. Okay, and the length of each section they given. So it's all in C centimeter they given so we need to convert it into millimeter fine so let's start the solution okay. so stresses on each section so let's uh, take a first section first so, so before that I'll just uh, return the given data given P they given that is 35,000 Newton and he they given that is x modulus 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square okay so you need to find this stress stress at section 1 so to find the stress so we know the formula to find this stress is sigma p by a stress equal to load by cross section area right so now we we finding the stress at section 1 so I'll just make it it's a 1 and P is uh, we can put it as 1 but here we should understand here as it is axial load so you take any cross section okay so load applied it's the same okay so that is the reason so it's we know to put P1 but still it's okay but a1 is necessary right so now I'll just substitute 35,000 so that is a load they given divided by area okay so area what they given uh, we know that to find the area of cross section pi by d square that is d square here you can see here it is 2 centimeter they given so how to convert this into this into mm so that's the reason I put 20 squared divided by 4 okay so after calculation of this so we will be getting the answer is 11408 Newton per mm square okay in bracket I'll just put a this is a cross sectionary a1 equal to pi d1 square divided by 4 okay so same way you need to find out stress at section 2 okay so now so that is sigma 2 that is equal to and just 
can make it P2 and A2 okay so here P2 is it's the same 35 thousand 35,000 divided by pi by you can see here so the given this side 3 centimeter clear so 3 centimeter that is what I'm going to substitute here because I'll make it 30 because I put 3 centimeter converted into millimeter okay so that's the reason by 4 so that is equal to be getting 49.5146 Newton per mm square so here also you can for the reference I can write it here pi d square divided by 4 yeah. now same way how to find stress set at section 3 ok so stress 3 p3 by a2 so 35,000 and pi by you can see here it is 5 centimeter okay so just convert it to millimeter 5 convert it to millimeter means it become 50 square 50 okay and divided by 4 then we will be getting 17.825 Newton per mm square okay so for reference I can put E3 is equal to I D3 square divided by 4 clear okay so now finished first part of the problem now we are going to do second part so this is a first part okay so now i'm going to calculate second part of the problem that is b so what is they asking so we need to find out total extension of the bar okay so to find out that so i can just write it total extension of the bar okay so we know the we know that to find the we know that okay total elongation Okay. total elongation can be found by okay. P L by E A so you are clear right because so since since we know that change in length to find the formula for change in length delta L that is equal to P L by E A okay clear so now so here we have three cross sections so that is the reason so we need to modify this formula okay so here what all constant we have to see so load is constant because as I told you the load you take at any cross section it would be the same magnitude right so that is the reason here P is a constant or it's the same in all cross sections and what is L obviously it is not the same so we have to change the L so and what about E here 
so he is a constant for the material okay and a is cross section area obviously there is a you can see here there is a different cross section area and there is a different lens so that is the reason we we'll just modify this formula p by e so what is changes l1 by a1 plus l2 by a2 plus l3 by a3 you're clear so now we substitute all in the uh, formula that is 35,000 divided by 2 they given x smallest they given here okay it is 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 right okay then l is l1 is you can see here because they given all in centimeters 20 centimeter 25 centimeter and 22 centimeter so these things i'll be converting into mm so while calculating so it should be in mm okay so that is the reason so 20 that is l1 and it here for your understanding l1 l2 l3 okay now clear so this converting into mm so i'll just make it here itself so if you convert 20 centimeter into mm that become 200 mm okay divided by it's the same you know right so pi d square by 4 the so same thing i am going to substitute here so that is th this value side substituting here right pi by 20 square by 4 okay same value i'll be substituting sorry so clear right so i'm substituting these values here okay pi by 20 square divided by 4 okay then plus l2 so that is 25 centimeter so make it 25 become 250 mm divided by this is the area at the cross section cross section 2 cross section 2 so that is pi by 30 square by 4 plus okay so next l3 okay so l3 here 22 centimeter so 22 become 220 mm divided by pi by so here 5 centimeter that is what here we did right same way we substitute this one which is here so that is 50 square by 4 clear so now so that is equal to first i'll just put it this as it is okay 35000 divided by 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 okay so now i'll just calculate these values okay after calculating these values we'll be getting I'll just put it in bracket itself 1.102 okay so again after calculation of this so he'll be getting Point one eight three m m. So this is the answer we required. So this is the total extension of the ball. Friends, if you find this is helpful for you, please like and share it to the friends. 
Thanks for watching.